I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i am back again with another motherfucking video what's good y'all i hope y'all are looking good feeling good and motherfucking smelling good we're gonna look into this and see what the hidden truth is all right what is the hidden truth scorpio what did your person want to tell you all right this could be your friend too all right so what's the hidden truth damn i want to be more than friends then i said this could be your friend too all right so i want to be more than friends and you let me down in reverse okay so somebody that is your friend that's on the sidelines they feel like they can show up for you scorpio they like nigga if you need a nigga i will be that nigga if you need a female i will be that female somebody wants to be more than just friends with you okay and they feel like they'll always have your back. They'll never let you down. You know what I'm saying? They'll always be around. Whoever this is, they might be a rhymer or your kids might be watching Dr. Seuss or something might be going on with Dr. Seuss this week, okay? All right, so somebody just wants you to know that they want to be more than friends to you. They feel like they won't never let you down. This could be somebody who have let you down in the past, okay? But they cling into your energy. They want to hold on. They obsess and they spying with you. So one of your friends is like, baby, 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 hey, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> okay? One of your friends is like, baby, I will be your friend, your homie, lover, whatever the fuck you need, nigga. I got you, okay? They feel like they'll never let you down whoever this is they love that you wear pearls or they love that you have a lot of pearls they love that you are like fully covered or you like really elegant because this girl got a lot of black on so you taking a lot of people's energy somebody could have recently been by the water okay but somebody is holding on to you scorpio and they are spying on you and watching you and they are very obsessed with you whoever this is they are in the friends category and they don't like it there they're like, why the fuck am I over here in this friends category, okay? It says let you down. So somebody feel like whatever you need, they're going to be around, okay? I like this, okay? So Scorpio, somebody is like, what's up with it? Also, somebody feels abandoned by you, left out, walking away, and cold. So somebody feels like you walked out on them, okay? This could have something to do with roses, flowers, a mask, a hoodie, somebody who got on Gucci shoes. I don't know what's up with these Gucci shoes, but I'm just telling you, these could be all white shoes with like little stripes on the side too, but I just keep seeing Gucci shoes, okay? So somebody feels like you abandoned them. All right, this could be a lover because there's roses here, but these roses have blue smoke coming off of it. So there was a lot of things that may have been left unsaid that has now manifested into thought, okay? And there's some roses here, but they on the ground. So maybe these roses were never given or somebody bought roses and just was like, fuck them and they trashed it, okay? So somebody feels left out. They feel they feel like you walked away, Scorpio, and they feel like you cold as fuck and you abandoned them and they feel like you two-faced it. Yeah, this person feel rejected by you okay so whoever this is they feel rejected by you they feel abandoned again okay dismissed all right and 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 they they're in fear so somebody is a friend to you all right but they want to be more than friends to you they feel like you abandoned the thought of them being more than friends so they like fuck it okay so somebody is like fine you don't you just want me to be your friend that's fine but they don't like it okay somebody feels like they won't let you down but they let you down already a lot let you down is here in reverse <laughs> okay so maybe this person let you down you abandoned yourself from this person you walked away because this person was very cold or this person felt like you were cold these cards are in the opera you could feel like this person feel the same way about you you feel the same you feel like this person wear a mask and you be wearing a hat so scorpio you could be wearing a hat all the time or they could be wearing a hat all the time or both of y'all always have some shit on your fucking head okay but somebody was definitely wearing a mask this is somebody who was cold they was always walking away from you 
and they always left you out you know they never really included you or did things with you okay you also have somebody here that is a friend and they're very clingy to you they're obsessed with you they spy on you they be holding on to you okay and they want to be more than just friends okay so you got two people in your energy i don't know if you really want to be with them because clingy is here and you hugging your damn self okay so somebody likes the way that you love yourself as well there's something here about blue lights damn okay so damn this person who who let you down it says i, I they they don't want to let you down no more they don't like that you rejected them or you walked away from them this person want a family with you so you you could have a family or you could have one kid with somebody and whoever this is is you got a family with they feel like you said hell no nah to them they feel like you rejected them you walked out on them all right and um this person let you down a lot all right, there's also somebody here that wants a family with you, but they feel like you rejected the idea of y'all even being together, okay? And it's because y'all constantly bump heads. You also got somebody out here. Look at this shit. I don't, I don't be making it up. I said you love yourself a lot. Somebody likes you. That's your friend because you love yourself a lot. And they think about how you just care about yourself, you know. And this could be outside people. This could be people that just meet you like, damn, you really do fuck with yourself. Like, you don't really be out here starving for a nigga attention or you don't be starving for niggas attention or females attention. You really just be out here loving yourself, doing your thing, okay? Men can see when women are content with their own identity. Men can see when women are starving for some kind of identity. Now, I ain't trying to be mean and I ain't trying to devalue nobody, but men do know when there is a woman of quality and they do know when there's a woman for a fast ass dash. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of men recognize this in you. And if you are a man, a lot of women recognize that you are a stand up guy. You got your shit together. I mean, you, you doing your shit and you look good while you doing it somebody wish that y'all constantly don't bump heads somebody wants you to see them in a light where you can rely on them and they don't want to be your fucking friend that somebody is upset about being in the friend zone they like how the fuck did i get over here in this fucking zone <laughs> like <laughs> Somebody is mad that they got friend zone. You're going to get shocking news from this person, okay? This person is going to do a 360 on your ass. This is somebody who acted like a jackass. You're going to be like, what? Okay, you're going to be shocked because this person loves you and they want you to turn your ass back around, okay? Somebody said, turn that ass back around. So you're going to get shocking news. This could be a shocking text. Your nails could be like dark brown or a cream color, okay? Um, but yeah, there's something here about beiges or some shit here. Okay. Um, you could be somebody who always got to have a phone case on. Like you ain't got a phone case on your phone. All right. Also, somebody just feels like you didn't put a love spell on them, but it's God. Somebody feel like the love that they got with you is God. It's God calling them all right and they don't want to be a jackass no more they want a family with you they don't want to be rejected by you they don't want to bump heads with you but this is somebody that you constantly bumped heads with okay and this person is making a vow to themselves that they won't ever let you down okay also somebody do not like being um friends period they're clingy to you all right and they feel like you fuck with yourself like somebody don't like the fact that you won't even go fuck with another nigga or you won't fuck with another bitch you'll just go fuck with yourself and that is sometimes intimidating because it's like when you fuck with yourself and you build yourself back up you become a huge magnet for other people who are on that same vibrational frequency so you can match up being whole now let me break this down when you fucking with somebody and you really like them and you decide that you don't want to talk to them in that way, you want to be friends with them, you change and you get on another timeline because you're saying what this is, is not a vibrational match with my frequency. And you let the universe know, like, hey, I don't want this fucked up ass behavior. I love myself enough to wait and get better behavior. Now, once you do that, you do a quantum jump. You do a quantum timeline, which is that same shit that I was talking about with, cho with choosing to be positive and choosing not to be. It's just like, and it steps in it too like you get to certain levels so if you a nigga and you like damn i really like little shot so much that i want my dick won't even get hard for other bitches that is a choice now it's a choice for you to still be in the bed with those bitches still be laid up with those bitches but now your dick isn't working some of y'all would be like man maybe you need to suck it to get ready now that's another choice that means that you're ignoring your intuition even though you know you don't even want to be with this but you like let me just get something out of this now that's the timeline another timeline hey man let's just not do nothing let's just go to sleep that's the timeline that's understanding that you don't want to exchange bodily energies because you know it's not uh good for your merkaba which is your aura and you're changing a higher timeline 
another vibrational timeline. Everything is a choice. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's infinite possibilities. You just get up and be like, I got to go. Now, this one is very difficult because this one is letting this woman know, hey, I know there's another woman. I know there's another energy here. You know what I'm saying? And now this person is rejecting me. This woman has two things that she could do because this is another timeline for her. Realize that her intuition is correct and realize that she needs to move away from this or go harder and try her best, which some, some women do, to try to convince this man that they need to be with them. All of these are different timelines. That's why... Um, tarot is so powerful because some people are just talking about the timelines they encounter and they're talking about the timelines they see i mean just the other day i was talking to somebody and i didn't even know that i was on this person's timeline until they told me a key element that i keep seeing in my vision not even knowing that this was linked to their timeline so sometimes like i tell y'all like i try to tell y'all different movies that have um psychic readings or people who have pernition premonitions and we don't get to see all of the premonition we get to see bits and pieces of the premonition okay um and some of y'all think we know the whole story but sometimes we just know bits and pieces of the premonition or we'll dream it so whoever this is they about to send you a shocking text like i'm about to pull up on you da 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 da, da and you're gonna be like damn okay somebody gonna go hard as fuck because they want a family with you they don't want to be a jackass and they love the fuck out you magical and all okay but they constantly bumped heads with you and they feel like you will easily drop them okay and i feel like you have and i feel like you've invested in yourself but this person wants you to turn back okay i also feel like there's somebody else that is here that is friends with you but they want to be more than friends with you this person want a new beginning with you, all right? <clears throat> this person don't want to be phony. They don't want to be tricky no more. And they don't want to have no illusions between you and them. You also have somebody else that's new here that's in your energy. They like how you are. They want to be more than just friends. I think this person told you, like, I'm not here to be your friend. I know we getting to know each other, but I don't want no friendship with you, baby. All right? So somebody just straight up said that. And whoever this is, they love that you um, love yourself, all right? And they're very much in your energy. This person could think about you first thing every morning, for real, for real. Yeah, somebody wants to rewrite your love story with them. All right, whoever this is, they want to be in a healthy relationship, okay? So this person feels like you are a healthy relationship. You're not toxic, okay? But somebody wants to be by the water with you. This person could be taller than you. This person could be like, you want to go on a vacation? You want to go somewhere? You got two people. Yeah, somebody wants, yes, okay? Okay, so somebody really wants to be around you, all right? We got wedding bells. Somebody could call you unexpectedly or they could call you all the time just checking up on you seeing how you doing you like these check-ins whoever this is they really fuck with you they like to the check you you like oh this is nice okay so somebody is loving on you they rewriting their story they feel like this is a new opportunity somebody does want to get married to you all right and somebody wants to have your back i love you scorpio see y'all later bye Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tag and share this video to a Scorpio you